Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, in case you're wondering why I am wearing this headpiece and why I have my makeup all done up, it is because uh, Carnival in Trinidad is going to be happening soon. I don't know exactly what day because <laughs> I've never gone, I've never played mass, but um, I have seen the costumes. I've been to Caravana in Toronto and the costumes and the makeup are always phenomenal uh, regardless of what band people are playing with it just it looks it it's just so beautiful so um, I did have a few requests to do a couple of carnival looks I'm gonna try my best fingers crossed to do a second one but this is the first one um, I borrowed this beautiful headpiece which is slightly lopsided <laughs> but I borrowed this beautiful headpiece from my girl Shannon uh, yes her name is Shannon too and um, I thought I would do a look to go with these colors now a couple of things going into the video just so you know regardless of the colors that I'm using to go with this if your costume has different colors in it you can easily just swap out these colors for the colors that you have in your costume and follow the same techniques and you should be good to go. Um, a few other tips off the top of my head, I will mention them throughout the video, but off the top of my head, make sure you use a foundation or makeup with an SPF in it, please. Um, let's all avoid skin cancer and protect our skin and uh, so yeah, use the SPF. Um, a couple of tips for um, sweat-proof makeup, use a primer under your foundation, use a primer under your eyeshadow. Um, the glue that I've used for these jewels here is just regular eyelash glue, regular eyelash glue. Um, I didn't have the clear one, because I'm, I'm always using uh, the dark tone eyelash glue for my eyelashes just because um, you can't see it. And then I realized that I needed the clear one for these jewels. So I ended up using the dark tone um, glue. And uh, it worked out, but don't, don't do that. If you're going to do jewels on your face, um, try to get the clear glue and not the dark tone glue because if you mess up you're gonna have black around the jewels and it's not gonna be pretty so um, that is another trick I've just put my hair half up for this because of the way the headpiece sits I thought um, you know I'm gonna put half of it up if I was out on the road all day in the hot sun the last thing I want is hair in my face on top of that, you want to be able to see the costume, the headpiece, the makeup, all that kind of stuff. So, um, that's it, I think. So, since I'm all done up, I'm going to go listen to some soca now and dance around the house because that's the only carnival I'll be going to this year. So, again, enjoy this look. Thank you for coming back to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget that I do still have the Valentine's giveaway going on. So all you have to do for YouTube is be subscribed to my video and let me know about your most memorable Valentine's story. And for Instagram, I have posted a picture on my Instagram page. So just repost that picture, follow the rules attached to it. So I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching and that's all. Bye. Hey guys, so I'm starting off with my MAC Paint Pot in the color Painterly as a base for my eyeshadow. My primer for my foundation was the Smashbox Photo Finish because it's oil free. My foundation was the Bare Minerals Bare Skin foundation because it has SPF 20 and my concealer that I used was the MAC Studio Finish Concealer and that is because it also has SPF 35. I used the NYX concealer under my eyes just to get rid of any dark circles and I just covered up with some MAC Mineralize um, powder. And now I'm going in with a mineralized eyeshadow by MAC. This quad is called A Glimmer of Gold. And I'm just using that top uh, corner color. It's the light color. 
and I'm just gonna be using that for a highlight under my brow bone and I'm just using a fluffy brush just to get it on there to catch the light but nothing too heavy. So now I'm gonna go in with my palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's the Tamana palette and I'm gonna be using the color uh, Venezia, I believe is how you pronounce it, that blue color. I'm just using that as a base because I'm going to be putting blue glitter on. So I'm just going to be using that underneath it so that the background color of the glitter is similar to the color of the glitter. And I'm using a flat shader brush and I'm just packing it right over my lid. And now I'm going to go in with the color I-922 and this is one of the Makeup Forever Artist Shadows. I'm going to be packing the, the color onto a blending brush but then when I apply it to my eye I'm flipping the blending brush upside down so that the majority of the color is on the top of the brush so it blends upward and not downward into that blue. I'm just going to be taking the exact same color using a pencil brush and I'm going to get right underneath my lash line, kind of on my lash line too, but more so underneath my lash line. And I just want to deepen up that crease now, so I'm going to be taking my 217 shader brush by MAC and the color... ME930 in the Makeup Forever Art Shadows and I'm just applying it to the tip of the brush and just getting into the outer corners of my crease there with this darker color. So going in with that light color again in the MAC quad, I'm just going to be adding a highlight into my tear duct area. Okay, I'm ready for eyeliner. Uh, the liner that I'm using is the Chromaline Black Black by MAC. I would suggest a gel liner for uh, when you're going to be playing masks just because most of them, in fact all of the ones that I've tried, um, they don't run. So you don't want an eyeliner that's going to run down your face when you're sweating and all that kind of stuff. Not cute. So ladies, get on your A-game and get that gel liner under control. And in case you guys were wondering, I'm just doing my regular wing liner here. I'm going to be adding just a couple of extra wings <laughs> to the edge there, but nothing ridiculously crazy or anything like that. Um, it's more the colors that are going to pop for this look as well as the glitter and the jewels. And here I'm just applying the liner uh, again under my lower lash line uh, and on my waterline. Okay, time for glitter. I am using an eye candy glitter um, that is called Spearmint. I just took the cap of one of my lipsticks from MAC and I'm using some of the liquid sugar that comes with the eye candy uh, glitter and I'm just putting a bit in that cap and then dipping my brush in it and then dipping my brush into the glitter. Ladies, if you are scared of glitter, you need to get on this eye candy business because Nothing falls anywhere, it's super easy to use, it's just, I'm literally just painting it onto my lid. So that being said, um, I'm just applying this to my full lid, uh, just where the blue color is, and now you can probably see why I use that color as a base. Um, and I'm just gonna cover both lids with this, and then I am going to just fan my face so that the liquid sugar dries before I start blinking and stuff like that because that's where the glitter might transfer to my upper lid. Um, you can also use a hair dryer for this if that is easier for you.
course, now we're just gonna curl the lashes and apply whatever your favorite mascara is at the time. Right now, I'm kind of stuck on using this Tarte uh, Lights Camera Lashes 4-in-1 Mascara. So I'm just using that and then I'm going to be applying my false lashes. So these lashes are from House of Lashes and they're called Starlit. Um, I know a lot of people use the feathery lashes and all that kind of stuff with different colors for the carnival look. Me personally, I'm not a fan only because of the fact that uh, I don't like to cover up my makeup or hide the makeup that I've done with um, super, super duper over the top lashes. Um, they look fabulous on some people. For me personally, I'm okay with just a heavier regular lash and not colors and feathers and all that kind of stuff. But you guys do what you feel you're comfortable in because you're playing mass, I'm not. <laughs> Time to get these jewels underway. Um, I'm going to be using those tiny little jewels on that sheet of paper I'm holding. Um, I didn't have clear glue as I said in the beginning of the video so I'm, I am using dark glue which is a little tricky so try to get yourself clear glue. Um, it's just regular eyelash glue so I'm taking my tweezers and I'm pulling that jewel off of the paper. They are self stick so that they're already kind of sticky. Um, and I'm just dipping it right into that glue on the back of my hand and then taking that and applying it right underneath my eye. Um, I decided to just go with a row underneath each eye of jewels and at the end I have one bigger jewel that goes on either end of my eye. You will see me apply that later. Another reason that you want to make sure that you have clear glue and not any kind of colored glue or black or anything like that is because if by chance these jewels are coming off of you and you're sweating, uh, the last thing you need is to have these little black or colored dots under your eye. Um, again, not cute, so get that clear glue. Um, there's the bigger jewel that you just saw me put on the corner of my eye. Um, just to give it a little more sparkle at the corners and then I'm also going to be applying one in the middle of my eyebrows um, Just because once you see the headpiece on it just kind of goes with the flow, you know what I mean? Okay, so now I'm going in with my Mineralized Skin Finish in Gold Deposit by MAC and I'm just taking a big fluffy brush and putting it on my cheeks, my forehead, my chin, my nose, my neck, my chest. <laughs> you can basically put this anywhere when you're playing mass. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of contouring now with my NARS brush and um, Casino in NARS as well. I'm just going to be contouring out the hollows of my cheeks my corners on my forehead and my jawline 
and why am I taking so long to speak <laughs> and down the sides of my nose just to make it a little straighter. Okay, so I'm going in with my Estee Lauder highlighting powder. This is the Illuminating Powder Jelly in the color Heat Wave, and I'm just applying it to the high points on my cheeks down the center of my nose. I'll be doing my Cupid's bow and my chin. And in case you're wondering, I'm applying all of this shimmer and all that stuff because it's gonna catch the sun really well. You're not gonna regret that. For blush, I'm going to be using Max Blush Baby, and I'm just going to be adding that lightly on the on the um, apples of my cheeks. Why am I having such a difficult time speaking today? <laughs> but I'm going to be adding that. I don't want it too heavy on my cheeks just because my eyes are really heavy, and then I'm going to brighten up my lips. And it is now time for lips. <laughs> so I am using Magenta. Um, that is a lip liner by MAC, and I'm also using the liquid to matte lipstick by Dose of Colors in the color Purple Rain. So just so you know, filling in your lips with a lip liner and using a matte lipstick and also using bright colors will help to stain your lips a little more. So if you're eating, drinking, sweating throughout the day, your lipstick is not going to go anywhere. And if it does, the tint of it is going to stay on your lips. So there you have it. This is my finished look. This is what I would look like if I was playing mass in Trinidad and I'm not. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys can use some of these tips for your looks and enjoy your time if you're going to be there. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon.